If you are going to do deployments in Salesforce, you need to have Salesforce CLI. But what exactly it is? Why do we use it? And why it's even there? So Salesforce CLI is nothing but command line interface. Now in very simple terms, whatever you want to do inside Salesforce, you can do it using command line interface as well. Now, what do I mean by that is, let's say if I want to create a user inside Salesforce. So what would I do is I will go inside the, from setup, I will go to the quick find box. I will search users over here, right? I can search users over here and I can click and I can create one more user, right? So in simple terms, I can just go to setup and basically create Salesforce user, but I can do the same thing using command prompt as well. Right. So if I go to the command prompt, if I have Salesforce CLI, I can do the same thing using the command prompt as well. Right. So I can write a command over here and it will do the same exact thing inside the Salesforce itself. That is Salesforce CLI. That is Salesforce command line interface. So in simple terms, Salesforce CLI is nothing but a command line interface with the help of which you can do various kinds of thing like creating a scratch org, writing a script, recreating a flow, writing a trigger and whatnot. Whatever you can do it is in Salesforce. You can do the same thing within the command line interface. Now you might be thinking, okay, I can do, this is pretty simple, right? If I want to create a user inside Salesforce, I can just go to setup. I can just go to users and I can create a user. If I want to assign a role to a user, I can just do it within the Salesforce org itself. Then what exactly is the use of this command line interface? Why it's introduced, right? Who will go and write so difficult commands just to create a user? Now to uncover this, like before uncovering this, why do we need it? I would like to tell you that I have created a developer level project, which will help you to build good logic and trigger and will also force you to use bash classes, flows, and even LWC based on the approach you select. You can buy that project by clicking the top mat link within the description. So let's come back to the video. So our video was basically, why do we need that command line interface? I can do everything within the Salesforce. What is the need of writing so difficult commands? Now, what happens over here is that, as you know, VS code, or you might not know, VS code goes really good with command line interfaces. Okay. In simple terms, whatever you want to do in the command prompt, like if you want to interact with the command prompt, you can do it using the VS code. So you can just use point and clicks within the VS code to write those difficult commands. So there are different commands, right? And you can use the VS code, which will interact with your, with CLI and it will execute very difficult commands just by using points and clicks. You can just click somewhere inside the VS code and it will th execute the same command inside this command line prompt or command line interface. Now, if you connect all those dots, what's going to happen is that if you connect all those dots using VS code, you can make changes to the CLI, okay, command line interface, or we can say Salesforce command line interface. So using VS code, you will make changes to this command line interface and that command line interface is going to make changes to Salesforce. Thus using VS code, you can make directly changes to the Salesforce, but it's looked like directly, but Salesforce CLI is in between. So in very simple terms, whenever you're going to click on VS code, like if you want to deploy something and if you have to do anything, right, if you're trying to create a scratch or, or if you're trying to write a script, if you're trying to delete a flow, run a flow or whatnot, right, whatever you're trying to do, what you do is you do it within VS code. This VS code interacts or creates a command inside the command line interface and this command line interface that is Salesforce command line interface will do the same thing within the Salesforce itself. So this is what Salesforce CLI is, and this is how it's run at, runs at the backend. If you found this video helpful, I request you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel.